What's up guys, Sean Nalawani here, SeanNal.com, BodyTransformationTruth.com, and today I wanted to address the topic of the barbell row versus dumbbell row and explain why for muscle building purposes, I believe that dumbbell rows are the superior choice in most cases. Now I'm obviously not saying that uh, a barbell row is not an effective exercise, obviously it is, and it does work well, and there are plenty of people out there with impressive backs who do use barbell rows in their programs, but there are a few reasons why it's usually a less than optimal choice if you're trying to build up your mid back and your lats as effectively as possible. And the main reason is just the fact that uh, because of the position of the exercise where you're standing bent over and holding onto a heavy bar with no chest or lower back support, you end up having to exert a lot of extra effort just to maintain the proper posture for the exercise. Uh, your spinal erectors, your glutes, your hamstrings, all these muscles have to kick into high gear just to keep your body in the right position, which reduces the amount of focus that you can place on what really matters during the exercise, which is providing maximum stimulation to your lats and your mid-back muscles. And a lot of the time when people perform standard bent over barbell rows, especially beginners, they end up having to stop the set, not because their lats and mid-back muscles truly begin failing, but instead because of fatigue in the lower back and legs. Now I know that a lot of people will say that this is actually a good thing because it makes it more of a functional movement, but if you're already doing variations of squats and deadlifts and other posterior chain exercises, then that area is already being trained effectively and there's really no reason to be using a barbell row for that purpose, especially when the goal of a row is to train your lats and your mid back. And if you're performing big compound movements like squats and deadlifts and other similar exercises, then you'll actually want to keep your lower back fresh for those exercises rather than overly fatiguing it on other lifts during the week. So it's for those reasons that when it comes to free weight rows, uh, I prefer one arm dumbbell rows instead because they'll keep your lower back and your legs supported and let you put all of your focus where it should be, which is on training your lats and your mid back as hard as you can without having to put a bunch of energy into uh, maintaining the proper posture. And on top of that, it will reduce lower back fatigue so that you'll be stronger on your other compound lifts, again, like squats and deadlifts, uh, and it will reduce the chance of lower back injury as well. Uh, and then of course, one other added benefit is that each arm will be trained independently. And this gives you a more natural movement since both arms won't be locked onto a fixed bar and it will prevent size and strength imbalances from side to side. Now there are quite a few different ways that uh, one arm dumbbell rows can be performed, but this is how I personally like to do them. So you're gonna set up an incline bench at around a 30 to 45 degree angle, stand behind the bench with your feet about shoulder width apart, your knees slightly bent, and hold onto a dumbbell using a neutral grip with your outer hand. Press your other hand into the bench to support your upper body, and from there, Row the dumbbell up toward your waist until you feel a strong contraction in your lat and mid back muscles. Lower the dumbbell back down until your arm is extended toward the floor and then repeat. And a few additional tips that you can use to make the lift even more effective. Number one is to focus on rowing the dumbbell up using your elbow rather than your hand because that's going to help you move more stress onto your back muscles rather than your biceps and forearms. So just imagine that your hand and forearm don't even exist and place 100% of your focus on driving the weight back using your elbows. And tip number two is to make sure to row the dumbbell at a slight angle rather than straight up and down. Uh, thirdly, as you row the dumbbell toward yourself, focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together as well. And then lastly, for even more activation in the back muscles, I like to use a set of lifting straps or lifting hooks because those will fully eliminate your grip from the equation. And another option, of course, is to perform your one-arm dumbbell row using a flat bench and just put one hand and one knee up on the bench and your other leg out behind you. Either variation is fine, and you can just use the one that feels most comfortable for you. And two other dumbbell rowing variations that you can also check out where your chest and lower back are supported, but both dumbbells are being rowed at the same time are the dumbbell seal row and the incline chest supported dumbbell row. And I've done videos on those in the past, so I'll just link them in the description box below if you wanna check them out. So again, you can certainly still perform barbell rows if you'd like, they're still an effective exercise, but when it comes to free weight rows, I do think that dumbbell row variations are the superior choice for the reasons that I've outlined here. They will train the targeted muscles more effectively and in a more balanced way. They'll reduce lower back fatigue as well as the chances of lower back injury.
So guys, if you found this advice helpful and you want to get all the tools you need to gain muscle and lose fat as effectively as possible, you can download my Body Transformation Blueprint by clicking here or by going to bodytransformationtruth.com using the link in the description box. Make sure to follow me on social media here if you aren't already. The official website is seannow.com and feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. Talk to you guys again soon.